investors avoid bankruptcy. We are taking back our energy independence, so we are never again beholden to global market fluctuations or malign foreign powers. From my time as Prime Minister, I am more convinced than ever that we need to be bold and confront the challenges that we face. As the Roman philosopher Seneca wrote, it's not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it's because we do not dare that they are difficult. We simply cannot afford to be a low growth country where the government takes up an increasing share of our national wealth and where there are huge divides between different parts of our country. We need to take advantage of our Brexit freedoms to do things differently. This means delivering more freedom for our own citizens and restoring power to democratic institutions. It means lower taxes so people can keep more of the money that they earn. And it means delivering growth that will lead to more job security, higher wages and greater opportunities for our children and grandchildren. Democracies must be able to deliver for their own people. We must be able to outcompete autocratic regimes where power lies in the hands of a few. And now more than ever, we must support Ukraine in their brave fight against Putin's aggression. Ukraine must prevail, and we must continue to strengthen our nation's defences. That's what I have been striving to achieve, and I wish Rishi Sunak every success for the good of our country. I want to thank Hugh, Francis Liberty, my family and friends, and all the team at Number 10 for their love, friendship, and support. I also want to thank my protection team. I look forward to spending more time in my constituency and continuing to serve South West Norfolk from the back benches. Our country continues to battle through a storm. But I believe in Britain. I believe in the British people. And I know that brighter days lie ahead. Thank you.